before today. That Those were his stats for Pro League. Uh, and of course, now we'll just add two wins to that. Uh, and one in the Protoss versus Protoss matchup, putting him in at 2-2. Uh, 19 and 13 all-time total. No fear in this man. He is the perfect symbol of a confident player in StarCraft 2. Sometimes they're overconfident, but today it's been working out for him. We see SOS over here, you know, getting ready, definitely shaking his hands, he's blinking his eyes. He's got to get everything on the line here because, you know, so far this season he's not looking as good as everybody expected him to, and now he's up against Harding in the playoffs. He's 2-6 and six so far, 2-2 two and two for PvP, and maybe this is the matchup for him. Maybe yeah. he can pull it out. Maybe he can, man. He really needs to. Jenner really needs him. And I just don't know if he's going to come through. He has to. This is his moment. He absolutely has to take this win if his team is going to advance today, I feel. Let's go into our map. It's the King Stage on Station for a second Protoss versus Protoss. LTA는 SK Telecom. Up here in the top left, the red Protoss for SK Telecom. This is parting. Seems to be in a good mood today. And his opponent to the bottom right in blue for Jenner Green Wings. It's SOS. Had a very, very tough season so far. Uh, you know, one of their least successful players, in fact, just because he's, he's slumped so many times, they kept putting him out, he kept losing. He did eventually kind of break his losing streak, um, but I just don't know if he's got the mentality to win against a player like Harding. Harding didn't win that previous Protoss was Protoss with an all-in or a timing. He just canceled his Dark Shrine, defended, then dropped four Zealots in the main base while attacking a third base, and the defense was lackluster. Then Parting got massively ahead as a result. Yeah, I mean, I mean, to be honest, if you look at those two players, you see Parting at a much bigger light. And we were saying before how Terminator was sent out there to snipe him, and it was very unsuccessful, to be honest. And you know, Parting just showing that he's the much better player, especially in that matchup. Now against SOS, he who's been slumping a bit here, uh, is SOS going to show a little bit of his previous flair? Is he going to come out with a really nice PvP here? Or are we just going to see another guy fall down to this guy, Harding, who's just been looking so really, so awesome so far? That's the question. I really feel like if I'm Harding right now, this is probably going to be the game where I do an aggressive build in PvP, um, rather than play the, the game that I played the game before and just take a fast Nexus, you know. He basically DT expanded and then he canceled his Dark Shrine and just harassed instead. Um, and took a fast third base. He cut the Colossi out of his build entirely, which is something we didn't talk too much about, but that's the, the composition of the two players that we saw. Parting had the, the, the composition that worked for being aggressive and dying a third base. The, the build that Terminator went for could have tried to defend, but it would have been very difficult with his Colossi, and so Parting just taking that lead compositionally as well for, for that game and how it played out. Um, but I think that Parting, if he wants to do a Blink Stalker timing on this map or even go for Oracles to harass, it would be a good choice because maybe right now SOS is thinking, wow, he's just really not going to be aggressive in PvP today. Um, and I don't want to deal with that really mobile parting army where he adds a ton of gateways, takes the third nexus, and starts harassing me. This is what parting does. Yeah. I mean, you think about parting, if you just think about the mind of a player right now, you think, you know, do I want to play him in the early game? Well, he could tease me. He's a very aggressive player. He's a very aggressive personality. It's a very scary guy to play up against. Then you think about his later game in PvP, and you're like, well, I just saw my my teammate got get wrecked by that and i don't want to face that either so you know sos has got to be feeling a little bit shaky here i wouldn't i wouldn't fault him for that definitely yeah i i agree completely this probe will come over here scout the double gateway of opening up his opponent uh, which he's also going for back at home difference being that he's decided to produce a sentry so he's going to have faster sentry energy will also be able to have additional force fields out um, and it looks more unlikely that SOS is actually just going to expand and take a nexus here with how he's open. Parting, on the other hand, has a few options. And, you know, as far as I can tell, Parting is just now uh, sending out his first scout. Goes into two stalkers as his opening, so he's going to be aggressive with this. And we'll see how much pressure he wants to really commit to, because against the fast nexus opening that we're going to see from SOS here, this could be really, really good for Parting. It's going to tax the micro um, of, of SOS quite a bit. 
Yeah, I mean, we see SOS producing right now two more sentries. So definitely, as well as throwing up that Nexus, going to be very defensive here. Parting. All we see so far is those two Stalkers coming out. We see another one being built right now. Third gateway, too. I think he's really just going to do that three uh, gateway pressure build, which is almost the direct counter to what SOS is doing right now because he's trying to take a really greedy Nexus. He is starting his robotics, and that is key because the Immortals will be what either saves him or he will not have in time, and that will cost him the game. That's that's his saving grace in this game. Mothership Core already starting to take some hits. He cannot afford to lose that either. That is so critical here. And Parting is just going to walk up the ramp and start making pylons. Of course, here, excellent. He doesn't get the probe up there. Yeah, he does not get the probe up there, and that Stalker is going to go down. This is what you got to do with these sentries, but that, that Nexus is probably not long for this world. I mean, he does have this robotics coming up as well. I, I wonder if he's not going to cancel that. That would be crazy. Well, you know what? Actually, I think he can hold this with that force field. That was really important. Only time will tell. Parting, actually, will he actually commit to this? That's the question. He just warped in a few more units. Uh, the Mothership Core will be able to overcharge. And, I mean, he doesn't know if it's Blink or not. It's probably not, if, considering what he's seen now. There's the overcharge with Force Fields. Nicely done. And it looks like this is going to be held off. And the Immortals are already on the way now as well. Harding is still committing, though. He is not backing away. He's not backing down. The Nexus is still with nearly full shields right now. And here we go. Force field is perfect. Yeah, perfect force field. It seems like he wanted to try to rush up that ramp, but he's not going to get it. He throws down a time warp as well. But like you said before, with the Immortals coming out here, SOS actually looking pretty good on the defense so far. Just playing playing this defense right now very, very well. And parting with the very good aggressive timing just doesn't seem like it's doing so well so far. I mean, if he were on the low ground, he would have been dead. There would have been no force yeah. fields. He would have had no chance, and the game would have been over. But on the high ground, like he it was stayed patiently. Uh, and, and made sure he did not miss any forces, not allowed any power on made on the high ground, uh, then that's what he needed. This game isn't over yet by any means because Parting still has a lot of stalkers, but the Nexus is, at least for now, held, and he has extra mining from it. He needs to actually buy more time, though. The force of here, beautiful by Parting. He's actually going to cut that Immortal off from fighting. He's going to start picking off these units. Parting is just leading a clinic on force field today. Second Immortal shows up. Can he get the Nexus? It's getting very low. Gets a nice force field on the ramp. He's going to be able to pick off that second Immortal. That is so huge with how many Stalkers he has. And now that Nexus is really low. Parting with a bigger army and only one Immortal right now for SOS. This is so aggressive. It looks like Parting going to do very well so far. Well, looks like it, but the Immortal falls here. And now Parting just has the better Stalker count at 11 to 5. There's the second overcharge on the Nexus, but this allows Parting, of course, to go into the main base because there's no more Sentries. Parting, can he be stopped? It looks like today the answer is no. Goes into the main base, finds that immortal, starts to target it down. The crowd is going crazy. The crowd is going absolutely insane. That Nexus is just not going to stay up. This immortal trying to micro his best, but against Parting's micro, how can you possibly take it out? And now more units being made by SOS, but you see the look on his face. He is crushed. He is, man, and his team is too. GG. Parting three wins in a row. Three wins in a row, and he is having the time of his life right now, beating two Protosses in a row. Took out a Zerg earlier, and he, the crowd is chanting his name. The, the crowd is just absolutely on this guy's side right now. The like force he said, three in a row. The force fields that we saw were so perfect, and SOS had a big problem. His army was stuck in between the Nexus on top of that, uh, you know, unbuildable plate, that area in between the Nexus and the ramp, where he wasn't able to, to branch out and get a concave, whereas Harding's units were constantly at an arc, always attacking, always doing damage, and he had the be his stalker count was so high, the Immortal needed to basically be isolated, constantly doing damage, you know, away from Harding's stalkers somehow, some way. And when he 